What are the causes of climate change? Have you ever wondered why the Earth's temperature is rising? It's a complex issue, but let's break it down. Climate change is largely driven by human activities that release greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. Here are some key factors. Imagine you're driving your car. The fuel you burn releases carbon dioxide, a major greenhouse gas. This is similar to what happens when we burn fossil fuels like oil, coal, and natural gas for energy. These activities have increased the concentration of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere by about 40% since the Industrial Revolution. Agriculture is another significant contributor. Farming, especially factory farming, releases methane and nitrous oxide, potent greenhouse gases. Livestock like cows produce a lot of methane and agricultural soils also emit these gases. Industrial activities are a big part of the problem. Factories and industrial processes release a variety of pollutants, including greenhouse gases and other harmful substances that contribute to global warming. This pollution affects not just the air, but also the health of humans and animals. Our daily consumption habits also play a role. The way we travel, the power sources we use, and even our diets all impact the environment. For example, high-income households tend to have a much larger carbon footprint than low-income households due to their consumption patterns. Waste management is another critical issue. The extensive use of packaging and the short life cycle of products lead to a lot of waste that ends up in landfills. As this waste decomposes, it releases harmful gases that contribute to global warming. Deforestation and land use changes are also key factors. When forests are cut down or cleared for agriculture or urban development, it reduces the Earth's ability to absorb carbon dioxide, exacerbating the problem. The transportation sector is a major emitter of greenhouse gases. Cars, trucks, airplanes, and other vehicles release significant amounts of carbon dioxide and other pollutants into the atmosphere. Overfishing, while it might seem unrelated, affects marine ecosystems. These ecosystems play a crucial role in absorbing carbon dioxide, so when they are disrupted, it can contribute to climate change. Construction and manufacturing processes also release a lot of greenhouse gases. The production of cement, for instance, is a significant source of carbon dioxide emissions. Lastly, our energy consumption patterns, especially the reliance on non-renewable energy sources, continue to drive up greenhouse gas emissions. Transitioning to renewable energy sources like solar and wind power is crucial to reducing these emissions. Understanding these causes can help us take steps to mitigate climate change and create a more sustainable future.